Good morning. Paul here. Down at the beach, my favourite spot. Nice little sheltered position. Can get to see a little bit of action behind us. And uh, today we have a reading from 1 Samuel 30 where David destroys the Amalekites. And we're starting at verse number 1. David and his men reached Ziklag on the third day. Now the Amalekites had raided the Negev and Ziklag. They had attacked Ziklag and burned it and had taken captive the women and everyone else in, in it, both young and old. They killed none of them but carried them off as they went on their way. I was just noticing on Google this morning that Ziklag uh, the ruins of it have been discovered by archaeologists a couple of years ago and they've started to excavate and they found the, um, the, the framework and the, the foundations of the houses there that were burned by the Amalekites. When David and his men reached Ziglag, they found it destroyed by fire and their wives and sons and daughters taken captive. So David and his men wept aloud until they had no strength left to weep. David's two wives had been captured and Abigail, the widow of Nabal of Carmen, David was greatly distressed because the men were talking of stoning him. Each one was bitter in spirit because of his sons and daughters, but David found strength in the Lord his God. So here are all the men coming back to find their wives and their children taken. And they're getting pretty angry and they're talking about stoning their leader. They've taken it out on David because he'd taken them off to war. But David found strength in the Lord. In some interpretations it says David found comfort in the Lord. In Philippians 4.13 he says... Um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know, we do find strength in the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. When we're pleasing God, he strengthens us. So verse 7, Then David said to Abiathar the priest, the son of Amalek, Bring me the ephod. So Abiathar brought it to him, and David inquired of the Lord, Shall I pursue this raiding party? Will I overtake them? Pursue them, he answered. You will certainly overtake them and succeed in your rescue. David and 600 men with him came to Besor Valley. So he went off chasing uh, the Amalekites, looking for their wives and children with 600 men. That's quite an army. And he goes on, and the Lord provides him with someone who was left behind by the Amalekites, a slave was left behind by the Amalekites because he was sick. They just abandoned him and left him on the side of the road. So David goes to this slave and says, can you guide us to them? And he said, if you promise not to kill me, I'll take you there. So eventually David and his 600 men found their wives and children all safe and alive and they brought them back safely. In Psalm 37 it says, the salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The Lord is our strength in time of trouble. Hallelujah. You know, Pauline and I have been going through a little crisis lately and we just needed to lean heavily on God. Trust in the Lord and he will guide you and lead you. He is our strength. He is our healer. He is our salvation. The Lord is all and all to us if we will just trust him and not be drawn away, not, not give up on him, but trust God and he will bring you through. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. Look to him in your time of trouble and he will deliver you. He'll never leave you. He'll do the fighting for you. He is our deliverer. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Amen.
joy of the Lord is your strength. Trust him, believe him, and let him do the fighting for you. Hallelujah. Have a great day. See you later now.